Welcome to Loving Beyond the I Do Podcast. This power couple is building stronger marriages one day at a time. Talking about real issues on love, relationships, and marriage longevity. Let's break down the barriers and engage in healthy conversation with your hosts, Jason and Tina Marie. Take a seat and buckle up because things are about to get real. Hey, 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 welcome to the show. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Loving Beyond the I Do Podcast with with your hosts, Jason and Tina Marie. Yes. That's me. It sure is. All right. (laughs) So let's get into it for another week of talking about taking our marriages off Off of of fruit. Off of love, off of cruise control. <laughs> off of what, Jason? Uh, taking marriages off of cruise control. That's what we are all about. Exactly. Teaching individuals and couples how to take their marriages and relationships off of cruise control. Yes. And this is, if this is your first time here listening or watching us on YouTube, welcome. Welcome and, and share. <laughs> welcome, share, tell, and stay, stay tuned with us, right? That's right. Continue to listen. So today on the show, we're going to talk about, what are we talking about today? We're going to talk about, should we or should you keep secrets from your mate? Should you or we keep secrets from our mate? What do you think? Should we? Well, I don't know if we should. I know we do. So, yes. Well, I guess, does it, does, should it um, depend on what the secret is? I think so. I think so. So you think we should keep secrets? I don't know if we. So, we do should. you like it when I keep secrets? Depends on what the secret is when I find I, out. It doesn't matter, but do you like it? Even if you never find out, did you like the fact that I kept a secret? Right? Because a secret means you don't, you're not supposed to know. Right. But you know that you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right? Wait a minute. So, you, I know that I don't know that you kept a secret? Yeah. Well, then it's no longer a secret. It is a secret because you don't know what the secret is, but you know I have a secret because you don't know what it is. I think we all are holding on to some form of a secret. But should we? Should we keep secrets from our mates? I think you have to have something for yourself. Long, I as long as it's not detrimental to your relationship. Or I think if it's, it, it, like, again, that de- it depends on what the secret is. Right. I mean, if it's, what do you think if I spent a lot of money? Well, it depends. Do we have discretionary funds like that for you to spend? If, if, if so, it may not be that big of a deal. If money is a little tight. And that could cause a problem. And I guess that's where conversations like this come into play because it's an open-ended question depending on what the secret is, right? Right. And we're not talking about secrets with affairs or things like that. We're Mm -hmm. talking about secrets like should you keep secrets from your mate? Should you tell them everything? Because we talk about, right, um, communication is key. Yeah, but do you want to know every single thought or every single thing that I'm thinking? I don't think it's knowing every single thought. I think it's in terms of keeping things that the other person may have wanted to know about. Okay. And, you know, lots of times you say yourself, oh, well, I didn't tell you because I didn't think it was important. Because if it wasn't important to me, then I'm not going to share it with you. Yeah, but it doesn't mean that it's not important to me. Well and, well, and then what if it comes up? If and it then, happens so to what me, it then it would up, have to be important to me in order for me to share it with you. No, but sometimes you keep things to yourself. And right. I feel as though it's a secret. Oh. Or you don't tell me mm-hmm. and, and I find out about it. Right. And then you say, oh, well, I didn't think it was important enough. But the point is, is that who determines if it's important or not? If you share it with me, then it's no longer a secret. See, sometimes we fall into that category where we don't tell our mate something, mm-hmm. and then they find out about it. And, and then they then think they, we're holding secrets? When exactly. All along it wasn't important to the other person in the first place, so that's why I didn't even think nothing of it. So you said, I don't think we should share everything. Right. Well, some things are unimportant. Right. right? Some things we know are unimportant. Oh, you know, I knocked over the garbage can. We're not talking about stuff like that. We're right. talking about should we actually keep secrets from our mate? So, and the secret is we're, we're talking about any type of secret, but not secrets pertaining to having an affair. Right. Okay. That's a different conversation. Absolutely. And yes. I, <laughs> <laughs> you got tongue tied there, baby. Yeah. Cause I don't um, think that, um, is that a secret you keep? Like, do you keep that? If the person finds out, like, do you admit it? Do you? I mean, not listen, admit that's it? a tough conversation. But 
you put yourself in that predicament, so you probably need to own up to it and have a conversation about it. Okay, so if your relationship is let's stay back on track. You. So, do you think we should keep secrets? Whatever the secret is, do you think we should keep secrets? Now, I do think that we should keep some things to ourselves. Right. That can you if it accidentally keep a secret? <laughs> What? I mean, can you accidentally keep a secret? Like, you know, like I mean, I meant to tell you. I just, it never came up, so I never said anything. But I meant okay, to. we're talking about those secrets that we know that we're keeping from our mate. Well, I know. And we don't tell. <laughs> right. I mean, so I know. We? So, so we're talking about all secrets that we know we're keeping. Yeah. And we deliberately are keeping it from our mate. Yes. And sometimes we feel. Mm-hmm. Uh, that if I say something, I, I, say I know how it's going to play out. Right. Something may play out. Yep. Or we, we feel bad because we're keeping a secret. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So do how do we how do we determine I, I'll should say, we keep secrets? I'll say this. What's that? If it's bothering me. Mm -hmm. Then you know that it's something that you should tell me. Exactly. But it, that's the whole point. That's why it's bothering you because you don't want to tell your mate. True. And so but that's you the may, one. That's the time that like, I need to. You may to. feel like your mate may overreact or um it's not something you really want to share because you don't want to talk about it true or you feel like i don't want it blown out of proportion but then or, you, or but you you're may in just turmoil wanna, over here you may sometimes people are like that so do you think we shouldn't keep secret because the whole point of the word secret is to not tell the other person <laughs> right and so we keep secrets mm -hmm. deliberately because we don't want to tell the other person well i'll, I'll say is this. that right it could be i mean i could be saving you from some hurt i could be saving you or protecting you from um from a friendship or whatever i may know i may be protecting your feelings by not telling you and see there's a lot of scenarios when we talk about that right, right? like right. if my friend hit on you mm -hmm. right right do you think that's something you should tell me uh, i think so i think you i should think tell so? you yeah but i think i should tell you why so that's not a secret you should keep i shouldn't keep that secret no, because that could become problems. So now, what, it may end now your what, relationship. No, now, hitting on you is one thing. Mm -hmm. What if my friend deliberately did something a little bit more, like was um, yeah. half naked, right? Yeah. Or, I, I, I or definitely should tell you. accidentally, you know, walked into the bathroom when you were in there and then kind of flirted with you. Yeah, I would is definitely that, have to say something. You, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't think you would. Okay. I don't think Mia would. Okay. It all depends. Some will, some won't. You asked me if I would. I said I would. We're talking about the people. We're not talking about you in particular. Okay, I'm well, saying, well, some men some, will, some men won't. Should they? Should the men who, who In that tell, instance, yes, they should tell. Okay. They definitely should tell. And so they shouldn't keep it, keep that a secret? No. So why not? What would be the... Why? Because you give that other person the upper hand in your relationship, right? So they know that you didn't tell on that incident, and then they're going to probably push the envelope and see how far they can go until they just box you in a corner because you haven't said anything up until this point. But then, you haven't done anything. So they really don't have But you didn't say anything. anything about it, so you okay with the situation. So, so secrets can actually start some type of... Um, affair? Or, no, no, no. I'm, I'm thinking some type of... of momentum? Or yes, it can yes. grow so, mushroom so, so into what, something what a lot do, bigger. Or it can put your relationship on, on a path that it shouldn't be on. For right? sure. So it, it takes the, if you have a strong relationship mm -hmm. and you're keeping a secret, yep. then that secret itself is a, is a planted seed of something that could be. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. So when we're talking about minor secrets, and, and the word secret is what really determines if we should tell or not, right? True. So I guess there are some things, and I wouldn't say secrets. I would say there are some things that we probably should keep to ourselves if it if it's not going to make a big deal, right? Right. If it's if it's really embarrassing to me, you know. Right. If it's something then embarrassing, I may not tell you. If it's something that cannot have a negative effect on our relationship, mm -hmm. I think that that's okay. Sure. Right. So if even if it's money, if money is something that you guys fight over or have an issue with, and then you're overspending and the bills can't be paid. But oh, if yeah, it's your that's... own money or it's money that you don't have an issue with money, mm -hmm. then that's fine. But I think if it's something that can turn into something negative in your relationship, in your relationship something that can blossom or take root mm -hmm. into something that can be some, become something bigger, right. then I think it, it, you shouldn't keep secrets. I have to agree with you.
Yeah, because it, it it's just going to cause more problems in your relationship. But, you know, like with the um, example of the friend, and it goes both ways, male, female, whatever. Right. Um, you need to yeah, say so, something because yeah. you need to know who you're hanging out with and who you're around. So if, you're, if your friend, if your best friend or a close friend mm -hmm. was constantly hitting on me. Right, and, I'm, and you're not saying anything. Right, and I'm not saying anything. Now, would you have wanted me to tell you? Absolutely. Absolutely. That is definitely a, a, a tell secret. You tell me exactly <laughs> what's going secret. on. Right, because well, you know it's why? it's not a secret unless I keep it. Right. But, right. Then you so, give, but, but then you give the other person, like I said before, the power. Right. So so it only becomes a secret when you don't if tell. I decide to say, well, I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to ruin their relationship. But in the end, you may end up ruin starting our to relationship. Our, our and, and relationship. And so I'm thinking in that case, your relationship is already ruined because he's hitting on your girl. There you go. Right? Right. You know, it's funny. I saw a really crazy question that said, oh, it was on the Family Feud. Okay. What would you do if your friend told you that they had a crush on your husband or something like that? Mm. Yeah, they starting something on the Family Feud. <laughs> they were starting a real feud. Right, right, <laughs> on the Family Feud. Yep. But so, what, so you do think that relationships – should have some secrets though i do and i, I do. you know what like i said and if I it was something to... that happened to me that was embarrassing that i may not want to share oh what about if it's something at work and it may be something at work that may be embarrassing like when i've been over not, I split, not when not i've been over and i split my pants something, something that happened at work that right. you feel like you don't want to share and you keep a secret right i mean like oh, okay so what if somebody at work hit on you yeah you, you should tell you should, you should tell your wife. You're going to come home and say, you know, Becky on the fifth floor hit on me today. What is your, what, what, what's your mate going to do? You should tell him? Yeah, you know what? That's kind of, it all See, depends. because cause you're thinking like, right. oh, well, she's not around Becky, and I can keep Becky in control, so there's no sense in me telling her because every time I say something, she's going to be like, was Becky there? Did Becky hit on you? You know what I'm saying? So yeah. how do you determine which things to keep to yourself and which things you share? Well, I think you, you, you can share, you can share it, but you can share it in a way that you know what Becky tried to hit on me, and I put a stop to that right away. I was going to say, end, I think I think it, if, yeah. if someone um, outside of your circle or even someone in your circle hits right. on you, and it's mm -hmm. someone that you see on a daily basis or um, pretty often, mm -hmm. you should share that information with your mate. I do. I think okay. you owe them that much. I don't think it's about old. Yeah. I think it's just about not it's keeping respect. secrets. It, right. It, it, hasn't, it hasn't, I don't think it hasn't been new. I think that if you want to be, you, it's a point of, you would tell me if the car broke down. Sure. So you should look at it the same way. I wouldn't have a choice. <laughs> right. So I think you should look at it the same way. I don't think it's a, a, a situation where I owe it to you. No, you don't owe me anything. You, our relationship is worth you telling me, being open and honest with, about everything. Okay. I think. That's what that is. And I think sometimes we have a hard time because we're talking about it now. And we will say, yeah, you should tell me. But I think when men get in that situation, they really do keep it to themselves. I, I think men and women don't just put it on the men. Now, women do the same thing. Women, I don't think so. I think sometimes. Oh, yeah, just going to come on. To, oh, you know, so-and-so, it don't mean today. Yep. We tell you because y'all just we might want, do that. We, then we gonna be all messed up in our feelings because y'all didn't share that with us. Yeah, you we, probably we will. want you. We want to see your reaction. We want you to get jealous. We want to remind you of what you have, and don't think that just because you bought the cow. We we already got. We already jealous. Anyway, you ain't got to tell us that. I don't think all men are jealous. We have to remind you guys. Okay. So keep... I I think women, unless it was like unless the other. You know, your mate likes the person. Mm -hmm. But I think women, we come to, you know, so-and-so hit on me today. And then now, again, I think it doesn't matter. Either way, I think that once we start keeping secrets in marriages, even if it's something that you say, oh, we can keep small secrets. It's right. Small secrets turn to big secrets, which turn to bigger secrets, which turns, which Just, turns into secrets that have no value mm -hmm. and to secrets that can be detrimental to your marriage. Sure. So... What so you're I think saying, at the end of the day is you don't if, keep secrets. I, I don't think we should keep secrets now. I see that being a problem because if you start keeping small secrets, yeah, and then they start to grow. Because yeah. if I kept this, I, then I can keep this, and and on and on and on. Or so. we we pick and choose why we didn't, mm -hmm. and then it becomes oh well, it wasn't really a secret. I didn't right. think you needed to know, or I like you said, I didn't want your reaction, or nothing happened. Right. But the point is that I think if we're open and honest in our relationships, it doesn't leave space for secrets to be kept 
I, whether I, it be about money, spending, vacationing, another woman, another man, um, looking at somebody, hitting on somebody, um, buying large uh, you know, items. Some people have an issue in their marriage. Whatever, whatever the secret may be. Mm -hmm. Even if you're going to get fired. I know a lot of people feel like, um, I didn't want to tell my mate because I didn't want them to worry <laughs> or I didn't want them I, like I'm now that's know, a heck of a secret now you didn't lost your job and you're getting up every morning you know like you're going you're, to work or you know you're getting ready to, to lose, right yeah. like or you know but you won't say issue. anything to help the family prepare for that you're just going to keep it a secret right yeah so it, I guess like we said I guess it, we we can have some things I'm not saying we have to share everything mm -hmm. but if it's something that falls under the category of a secret which means that you don't want to tell your mate or you feel like telling your mate would either you know bring some kind of strife to you or them or the relationship then that's a secret and it shouldn't be i don't think we should keep secrets when it's something that you know can turn into something big so you're saying just rip the band-aid off and just tell it no i'm saying we shouldn't keep secrets at all period. but you're gonna have to rip the band-aid off so it ain't so, no rip the yes, band-aid yes, off it's being yes, open conversation well that's open conversation sometimes it's ripping the band-aid off yeah because i know what those open conversations are going to be like so I, see yeah you, you you're know. you're thinking in terms of we've kept see, see, I, i'm not we, saying i kept no secret. no no i'm see when i'm listening to you mm -hmm. it, it the way you're saying rip the band-aid off right it means that to me you're thinking well just tell me and i'm thinking if we already have a, a good firm foundation relationship that we communicate all the time mm -hmm. then that should just be another conversation it's not about ripping the mandate off oh, I like, like that. you and yeah. i already have that type of relationship where if it's something that could could be a secret uh -huh. if i come to you and we discuss it we already know it's just another conversation all right. it's not about a secret so it's not about ripping the band-aid off all right, I if i gotta rip saying. the band-aid off that means that there's been secrets before and now i'm trying to figure out a way well, to can, tell you about this See, well i can tell you now that some of our listeners gonna have some secrets and they're gonna have to and rip that's why we have and that's, and that's why, why we have this right so they're gonna have to eventually they're gonna have to rip that band-aid off and just have that conversation and so we start the know, process if we want to know why relationships are navigating uh, the way we don't want them to go is because as we said we're, we're not taking our relationships or marriages off cruise control we're letting it just happen so we're keeping secrets yeah. and what happens is what happens right right it's it's a reaction to the action of keeping the secret right and so if we don't want our relationships to end up what in a ditch or somewhere <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if we don't yeah, going down a one-way street the wrong if way we don't want to find ourselves uh yep. days months weeks years later saying well what happened i don't understand or you're in a, a huge argument of when the mate finds out that something that you didn't tell them mm -hmm. well that's 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 why because we shouldn't keep secrets yeah. and i think communication is key but we also have to um get to a place where we know how to talk about difficult things talk about sensitive now that's the key to secrets right there right knowing right. how to talk about things so and yeah. that's what i meant when you said rip, rip the band-aid off right i'm thinking if we start if if our relationship is not built on any secrets and mm -hmm. i feel like i can tell you anything and everything and right. again i'm not saying that we have to share everything in our life that happens right right oh my sister today you know right. whatever or whatever you know my boss went off on me right i'm not saying we have to share everything we can keep some things to ourselves as long as it's not a secret okay you know as okay. long as we we're not it's nothing that can grow into something that can be detrimental to our to our relationship but you have to watch that because it could be something small like you said whether balls or whatever is having a, you having a um confrontation at work or whatever but, but then you bring that that situation home because you feel a certain way and so one may say something that someone said at work that that triggered you and then now you're arguing at home so by not telling them, they don't even, you know, the other person don't know. So that could start a, an person, argument. The other person doesn't know. Mm -hmm. They doesn't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't know. Yeah. They, they <laughs> are you are, are you trying to draw me in on something? Because I'm not going there. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> okay. So, I, what is your take on keeping secrets? I don't think it's so a what, good idea. I don't think I, it, I don't think it's a, I don't what think it's a good I, idea to keep secrets. What if I didn't say tell that. you something mm -hmm. and then you asked and I said, well, it wasn't really a secret. Yeah, I mean, it was like, just I something get it. that I just didn't tell you. That's cool because I've done that. I, I, Thousands some, of times. I, <laughs> 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 right. Because if I feel like it's not important, I, it, it doesn't even register in my memory bank. Right. So I'm not even thinking about it. I mean, the moment happened and went and then that was it. 
it mm. has come and gone and then you and then you may i may bring but, it up later on right, but if it was a secret right. then i would have never brought it up i was like oh yeah by the way that's you know this happened and this and like well when did that happen i, I don't know maybe two three weeks ago it's like well why didn't you tell me hey, it wasn't two, important three weeks ago yeah and, and yeah <laughs> it happened in the past sweetie so that's the problem right it happened in the past and you didn't tell me when it happened exactly because it wasn't important now i'll get in trouble for that because I, it just doesn't come up on my radar right so if it's not on my radar then i don't pay much attention to it so it's not part of something that's important to me so i don't bring it up again now Do you guys think that's right so if it's something that happened right and he didn't tell me about it right and then i happen to find out something right. or he happens to mention something to that right and then he says oh it wasn't important yeah, it what wasn't do you guys important. think about that yeah it wasn't you important. you think he actually forgot or he just didn't want to hear my reaction to what it was if i didn't want to hear your reaction sweetie i would have never brought it up again. i think you slip up sometime no mm -mm, no <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm too uh, no uh, no i've like, been in the like game it. a long time i know not to be slipping up like you that you got secrets no, oh no, baby, I ain't got so no what secrets. What you mean now. you don't slip mm -mm. up? No, no, no. I know if people slip up, they have to have secrets. No, I didn't say that. I said I've been in the game a long time. I don't I, slip what up. What game? Marriage not, game, baby. What the? The marriage game. We had a marriage game. Mm-hmm. Don't you see how we be dancing and stuff like that? A game. This is a game, and I'm winning. What? Mm-hmm. Don't you think we winning? Yeah, yeah, we winning. I see how you're looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> I know we winning at this thing. I didn't know it was a game. I thought it was life. Okay, the game of life. <laughs> so first it was the game of marriage the marriage game right not a life the, the game right. of life because life is game and game is life and marriage is life so it's all a game okay whatever <laughs> okay. it's all about know. how we play i it. don't know so i think that we shouldn't keep marriage secrets in marriage what do you think no nah, we shouldn't okay and no. then if we because do it can, keep something why why side, why shouldn't we keep um secrets because it can mushroom into something that's a little bit more problematic or if there's a reason to keep the secret then there's a reason for you to look deeper why do you need to keep it because then there's a, a deeper reason which means there's an issue in your relationship yes right so that was the real thing i was trying to get to was that we shouldn't keep secrets again wow again hey somebody somebody <laughs> like oh, 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 oh. okay so again pretend mm -hmm. like you guys just didn't yep. see that spotlight um if we need to keep secrets, it's an indication that there is something in our relationship mm -hmm. that is kind of giving us a hint that maybe it's not the type of relationship that we should have or that we should dig deeper as to thinking why we need to keep secrets. Warning signals, yeah. 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 So we have to pay if attention. You, if you're paying attention to them. I was going to say, we have to pay attention right. to the signs of things that turn into other things or why we don't have the relationships that we want and we are not tying together all the little crumb pieces and things mm -hmm. that contribute to you know snowballing and having this a type of relationship one day that we don't know how it got there right but you got to be out in front of it so you have to be paying you know close attention to it so and that's and that's the thing you know it starts out like i said it starts out small like it, it nothing means nothing until you start stacking stuff on top of it and then now you have this huge problem now you can't tell them the small thing because you got to tell them the whole thing right or sometimes when that person because we know sometimes secrets get out sure whether um it's from someone else who knows and it intentionally gets out yeah or somehow sometimes secrets get out right skeletons in your closet sure open door yep. and then then when that person finds out when your mate finds out about the secret Oh yeah, they're upset. Right. They're know? upset one because you didn't it's share with them. Look, it's right. a secret. You didn't have enough trust in them to share. And why was it what is the issue that, that you couldn't share? To, exactly. Yeah. That it was a secret in the first place. Right. So if it's something So don't that, put right. So don't put yourself in that predicament, right? So if this is the person you love and you vow to be with this person for the rest of your life, you need to share. When again, like Jason said, like I said, we're not saying that you have to, you know, tell your mate every little single thing that goes on with you mm -hmm. but it is important to share things that can become a secret or that are a secret and learn for ways to talk about them so that they don't become secrets that can mushroom into something else right and even if you have secrets right now that you really want to talk about start small we always tell you to start small I mean find a way to discuss um, right. issues in your relationship without um, 
causing an argument and blowing up and getting out of control. Start small. We've always said this. This is not the first time we've said it. I know Jason and I have talked. Well, I don't think we that podcast has come out, but what we recommend is that you all find a way to um, – Go to a, to a safe zone, right? So yes. Jason and I, we have words that we use when we really want to just, you know, talk to each other. Mm -hmm. And um, I want him to put his defenses down and hear what I'm saying. And I want to be heard. And then he says that when he wants to be heard, he wants me to put my defenses down, right? So we have to go to a place, a safe space, where the other person doesn't feel like they're going to be rejected or um, what else? Or criticized or made fun of right. or, just, or just waiting to for the other person to react to them. Right. It's, it's a safe space to say what you feel, express your emotions, and be vulnerable in that space. And be heard. Not, not right. you know, when I come to him and I say, Jason, well, I want to talk, and I know we mentioned it on one of the other things that, it, you know, we call it love talks, which means that when I say those words to him, that indicates, okay, this is a serious issue. Right. And I need to listen intently like i need to listen right. to what she's saying that means not, and not interrupting be, and not be judgmental just sit Definitely. back and take it all Definitely. in not why or if or what it what are you talking about now or constantly interrupting the person is something that 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 either i want to talk about or he wants to talk about and this is how we start so you start by by agreeing to um tackle small things so when you you know agree with you can have your own words mm -hmm. right so with us when i say well jason i want to have a love talk it means that we're going to sit down and we're going to talk about an issue that we have but we're both going to be cordial we're not going to argue we're not going to be judgmental we're going to actually hear what the person is saying even if it's something that we don't want to hear right Right. So it puts you in the listening mode for the other person. When a person says that, then we're listening. And it uh, helps you to communicate that. Right. Because now I'm listening. I'm not listening, waiting to react or, or waiting, waiting to, to say something. Right. right? I'm, I'm listening. I want to make sure I understand what you're saying. And I, and I may even repeat, baby, so what you're saying is this. Uh, is this and, how you feel about this situation? And it's so that the other person doesn't feel attacked. Mm -hmm. So if it's something that Jason is doing that I have an issue with, when we have these conversations, it's so that he doesn't feel attacked. That's why we have them. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's why it's a safe space. And that's why communication is key. And learning how to communicate effectively in our relationships prevents secrets, mm -hmm. which means that our relationship is on a good track. And therefore, you know, we, so there's no need to keep secrets. We just have to find ways to talk about the things that may be a little sticky or could you, you know, you don't know how to tell the person about the other issue. Mm -hmm. We just have to learn how to do that. So building trust will keep away the secrets. It's, Absolutely. <laughs> it's like Absolutely. it's like weeds in the lawn. If you fertilize it and you deal with it, you won't have that many weeds. So if you right. if you have that open communication, you have that trust. You don't have to worry about secrets. But and I can you tell you, you don't, you don't feel the you don't feel the need or find the reasons to keep secrets. Right. Yeah. Like I said, it could it could it start out innocent, just like that one weed in the lawn, and then after a while you look up. If you don't take care of it, they're everywhere. So it's kind of like a secret. So you better watch that. So let's have secret less relationships. <laughs> right? I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's have secret less relationships. Relationships. Yeah. We can keep some things to ourselves. You know, ladies, some things we keep to ourselves. Men keep to yourself. We don't need to know every single thing, you know. Good. I found a mole on my butt. You know, we don't need to know that. <laughs> but we do need to remember that uh, it's not. Um, it's not healthy to relationship for our relationship to keep secrets, whether big or small. And that's what we're all about, healthy relationships. And Absolutely. the way we can have that is through open communication and, and tackling tough things, you know. And secrets is one of them. And we all have them. Yes. We all have them. We all have them. And it's, it's a natural instinct to keep them. Sure, sure. So, so work on those. Uh, we know you have them. Let's start small. Let's talk about some of those secrets. Let's get them out there. Let's have open communication and grow your relationship. Believe me, it probably becomes a weight off your shoulder once you start to release some of these secrets that you have. You've been holding along to stuff for a long time, whether you're shopping and you have stuff in the car that you can't bring in <laughs> <laughs> or the Amazon truck showing up your house too much, you know. So just just all of those type of things. So whatever it is, whatever your your your, your secrets uh, may and be. Sometimes, sometimes what happens is the reason why we're keeping secrets is because it's other things in our relationship, right? right? We're not communicating with our mate because we're upset with them or, you know, our our relationships are our... Woo! Our relationships are not sound already. 
Right. So then it opens up the door for one secret. That opens up the door for another problem, then another problem, then another secret. So we, in saying that, we have to make sure that we're doing the work to keep the relationship strong and healthy and then preventing things that's going to backfire and not make our relationship strong and healthy. <laughs> Amen. That's for sure, right? <laughs> all right. So I think you got anything else to add to that? No, I think we covered it all. I think you have we any secrets you want everybody to know and let them out so we don't have any secrets? Ah, oh, baby, you know, all that stuff ain't important to me. If I can't think of it right now, it ain't never, it ain't happened. <laughs> so, <laughs> so does that mean you have a secret and you're not telling me? I, I would say no. But if you talk to me in, in a little bit, I might bring up something that I didn't think of. So, But it's not a secret. But it's not a secret because right. you know, I don't feel a certain way about telling you. So if it's a secret, I wouldn't even let it sneak out, right? I'm not even you, guarded. Because you've been in the game. Because I've been in the game. Because I, I don't, I, ain't no sense of holding secrets, baby. I, it's been a long time. So what am I going to hold a secret for? Because when you fall and find out, I'm going to have to deal with it. I'm going to have to deal with that secret, and I'm going to have to deal with you being <laughs> upset. And life is too short. I want to be happy. And I want to, I want our relationship to stay happy. And the only way it's going to stay want, happy. You want me to be happy, right? Yeah, I want us to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> you, you said, I, I want to be happy. Right. Well, I want us I, to be happy. I, I want you to be happy, happy as well as myself. And the quickest way for that not to be is to start keeping secrets. So. No. All right. Sounds good. So I think that wraps up another episode of Love and Beyond the I Do podcast. And as always. We're, we're in, in it, it to win, win it. it. <laughs> Thanks for listening to this week's episode of Lovin' Beyond the I Do podcast. Head over to iTunes to subscribe and leave a review. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Legendary Relationship or visit our website at legendaryrelationship.com. Till next time, remember to make every day count.